Good morning, everybody. It is ah, getting on at 7 o'clock, Monday morning, July the 1st. We're here at the lovely White Trellis Motel on Route 16 on the north end of North Conway. It's a beautiful sunny day. We are about to attempt our Huntington Ravine trip with myself and the lovely Alice Rose. Drove up last night, had a nice uh, dinner at the Modi Moose down the street. Now everybody's up and moving and we're getting ready to throw the junk in the car and head on up. It's gonna be, this day is gorgeous, it's gonna be fun, we're gonna have a blast. And most excitedly, my wife, who is still working on getting over that whole pneumonia thing, is gonna drive up so we don't have to walk back down. Yay, us! It's about 7.30 at Pinkham Notch Camp at the base of Mount Washington. We're getting ready to head up Huntington Ravine Trail. There's our taxi cab for the way down. That is the most awesome thing in the whole thing because she's the most awesome wife in the whole wide world. <laughs> and this is Alice Rose. Looking naturey and outdoorsy and stuff. Ready to hike. Are you ready, baby? Yeah, we love that early morning enthusiasm. All right, All let's right. hit Thank it. You. Always good to check out the avalanche information. A general advisory is issued. Tuckins Marine sections closed. Lion's Head, Sherburn closed. Oh, Sherburn's. Oh yeah, Lion's Head, Summer Shows, Lion. Here's where we're going. Huntington Ravine. Hopefully there's no snow. I don't think there will be. All right, let's hit it. And we got 1.3 miles of this crap before we turn off onto the Huntington Ravine Trail. So we may pop a quick view of the cascade that's up here, but that's about to be about it. Okay, hey, the last time I've been up here, this was not the bridge. It looks like a pretty new bridge, big wide turn in the trail. Of course, I haven't been up here in a number of years. We have had a lot of rain recently, so the water is flowing very nicely. The bugs are out. They're not bothering us now, so. Oh, almost stepped right off the edge there. Okay, very pretty. Nice view, beautiful day. The clouds up in the sky are going pretty quick. It's probably kind of windy at the summit. But I guess there's only one way to find out. There we go. And this is day one of our one day trip. You never know how these things turn out. So we'll keep you posted. Okay, it's taking a little side trail off the main trail about 50 feet. There's Alice down there. She didn't want to take us walk up for nothing. I don't blame her. But it's kind of pretty. Waterfall's going really good with all the rain we've had lately. Coming out that little mini gorge there really fast out there. Very picturesque. Alright, we'll go down and grab Alice and continue on our way up the trail. Okay, we've been a mile about up the Tuckerman Ravine Trail. The black flies are delightful as always. The trail is its usual wonderful, rocky, crappy, steep, annoying self. We are not feeling 100%, a little nauseous, kind of feeling pukey, not good. Get a little of that vertigo thing going on, so we thought it would wise not to climb up a 1600 foot near vertical rock head wall while suffering from vertigo. So we're going to bail it out now. We're going to bum around the mountains, enjoy the day, and have some fun. Right, baby? Because any day in the mountains <laughs> is better than a day anywhere else. Now we have to get back down here without tripping and falling. Okay. Let us rock and let us not roll. <laughs> I just detoured off the main Tuckerman Ravine Trail on the way back down on the Cross Country Ski Trail. Just come out and check out the brook. Sounds lovely. It's very pretty. It's just unbelievably gorgeous out today. The black flies are a little severe. But 
It is that time of year. And there's Alice through the trees. Let's go. She's going to go. I'm going to go shove her in. She needs a good swim, I think. Well, I think we're not, we're not going to uh, do Huntington's today. We're going to try to schedule that for August. Come up here and do it then to redo that. And uh, we're just going to go see some sights today. Drive, it's a nice day to be up here, so we're going to drive around the mountains, check it out. Door. And look, there's a door. We have found it. It is the gateway to hell. Uh, or Narnia. Open it. I don't know. There's only one way to find out. It's locked. Which means what? It's locked from the inside. Don't touch it. We have to go now. Bye. We have returned safely back to the bottom. That pink and notch. I think the car's over there. Mama's probably reading her book. Stephen, Stephen King, yeah. We're gonna go check out the visitor center. And uh, then maybe just drive around and do some fun stuff. It was a good day. And there's a dog. He's a stairs Chris not almost fell down. Now there's the parking lot where he did fall down. Because that was worth every penny right there. Let's take a look at our mountain before we head back. Yeah, we can't see because of the trees. Oh. All right then. We'll see what else we can see. Where else we can go for the rest of our fun day. We have come to Glen Ellis Falls. Yes, my wife was going the wrong way up that trail to the Glen Boulder Trail. She's getting it back on the summer Mount Washington instead of walking that three tenths of a mile to Glen Ellis Falls. This is fun. We have to go under the road through the scary tunnel. Oh. Well, over here somewhere, there's Wildcat Ridge Trail. Ah, I don't know where that goes. I don't know how that figures, but... That crazy. Very crazy. All right. Follow the Ellis River. Just a quarter of a mile. It sounds... Doesn't even seem like it's that far. All right, well, we'll see you when we get to the falls. Almost fell. Trying to do 10 things at once. It's not my forte. We've traveled just a couple hundred yards. Nice little waterfall. Beautiful looking swimming hole. And it goes through. And we can see the top of the falls right there where the world drops off between those rocks. It's a, you know, reasonably impressive waterfall. It's nice that we come up to the top. I'm not sure who's going down to the bottom, but I'll go down and take a look. Oh, very nice. I think there's a lookout up here right over the falls so we can see at the top of the falls. Yeah, there is. I don't know why I ended up with the dog. I don't even like the dog. It's mostly annoying. Yowzer. And here we are with the Grande view here. Come up to the wall here and take a look over. This is a nice waterfall. Yeah. 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 A big step for an old guy like me. And oh yeah. I think. Well, I'm not sure. If this tree wasn't here, I could probably go off the top of the wall 
you do a you know good triple anyway with a couple twists and sploosh right into that pool no problem but now I can't get down the tree to do it that would be ecologically unsound so I'll have to pass on that time so uh, we'll see who's going down to the bottom of the falls nice day I'm gonna say that all day long it is a tremendous day Here we are heading down to the fall bottom of the falls. A lot of stairs. But the stairs are convenient. Makes travel easy. And the annoying dog makes travel not easy. Ugh. Of course the awesomeness is coming back up and that's gonna be fun. I like the Grand Canyon. Hike down first and up last. A little confusing. Okay, we're going over that way. We'll see you at the bottom. Okay, we're not quite at the bottom. I've got a little observation place here for us to come out and really check the fall. I'm getting missed from the falls. Can check this out. We do love it when it's rainy. Yesterday. Very cool. Yeah. Alright, I'll make our way to the bottom bottom. So here we are at the lower uh whatever, lower outlook at the bottom of the falls. Looks good. I'm gonna walk out there on the rocks, hopefully I won't slip in because let's see, that wouldn't be too bad. That could be ugly and that there will be nasty. Okay. It would be amusing, however. Get it all on video. Hey. There was a butterfly. Aww. Got a nice mist from over here. Oh, yeah. Oh, a little rainbow. Hard to see. And the butterfly! Yay! Wow, he's flying right over there. It's gonna be hot with all the wind and stuff. Looks like a great swimming hole, except you get swept downstream, but we can find you down somewhere in the Atlantic. Nice. And this is Glen Ellis Falls on the Ellis River. And there are the people. Get this stuff carved into the rock. H. A. Seaver, maybe, and A. S. Thomas, perhaps. Looks like it was carved in there in 1876. That's pretty cool. Back when they didn't really care about defacing stuff because there weren't that many people. Nate, Nate, and that is right here at the base of the falls. Now we get to head back up all the stairs we just went down. I got a little hungry. Oh, there's a dude coming. So, hey, hey, hey. Here. The dog. Alright, we'll see at the top. Heading back out. I like the trees growing out of the rocks. I particularly like this little dude up here. He's worked very hard to grow up and be straight. A little tough in the beginning, but he did okay. Outstanding job, little tree. Alright, good. I really like the tree. That's weird how they just grow out of rocks. I know they're not growing out of the rocks. Alright. Alright, we're good. It's a tree that grew out of a rock. No, it's an Alice. You don't often get to see the man, the myth, the legend himself, because he's always yakking and behind the camera. I thought I'd give you a good look at him here. I hope you, there's no screen to tell where you're pointing, but this is new trail runners. I hope I'm getting those with his brandy new um, darn good socks or whatever, darn tough socks, excuse me. And then, well, of course, we got the hiking kilt on. Oh, you don't, you're not wearing your do rag. Oh, well. That's okay. And uh, yeah, 
So that there he is. Hope you enjoyed your view of the. Of, oh, okay. And there's Alice. Okay. Coming up the trail near the end, we observe these colorful and tiny little mushroom guys. Look at them, aren't they cute? See, that's a small, that's a really small shroomer. Some others up there, they're very colorful, delightfully cute, and really small. Kind of like Alice. Ha. Delightful, cute, and not really small. Just the right size. Okay, we're heading over to Cathedral as we drove to the the top of the road. Wow, they really changed this way. And look, they've put like a, a, a graded walkway in here. And it's like crazy. So it's a 10 second walk from the parking lot up to here. Oh yeah, this is the very, this is the end of the fence here. McDonald's food thingy, that's a bummer see that. And there's the view. Come up here, here's the run. Big view. Dude over there doing his dude over there thing. People over there doing their people over there thing. And it's a dog coming right. Well, Alright, we'll be back. We're back out to a different viewpoint. There's a family up here with their dog. Sandy was causing a ruckus. And how it is. Down there is Echo Lake. Hard to see. It's a nice beach there. I see people in the water all over the place. You can park over there. And there's a trail that comes up between Cathedral and Whitehorse. You can go to either one. Hike that a few times. Off in the distance. Roadway, West Side Drive. Over there is Cranmore. Up behind Cranmore is Black Cat. Oh, just snag myself on the fence. Oh, look. The locks on the fence. Like in the bridge. Okay. Okay. Very nice. Right, we're on the other side of the Cathedral, over by Whitehorse. I'm going to fall down and kill myself eventually today. This Whitehorse, I can't really see anybody on Oh, wait. Yeah, maybe some guys about halfway up, but it's hard to tell. Echo Lake. Alice and Mama and the dog. It's starting to heat up nicely. Another beautiful day in the mountains. Mm. Very nice. We are now leaving Cathedral Edge after a nice little bit of time up here enjoying the view. Going to head back to the car and uh, go find a place to go for lunch. The fun and excitement never end. I may leave the dog up here though, because the dog's just annoying. Alright, I may leave the owls up here, because, you know, I don't know which is worse. <laughs>